Good afternoon, oil traders, and happy Friday the 13th as we're heading into the close here. It's 3.20 p.m. Eastern Time, and uh, we've got just under 40 minutes left in trading. And uh, it's remained in the hands of the bulls, but just not quite as bullish as it looked this morning. Um, we're off the highs of 51.72. Uh, we never actually got near there um, here in uh, North America. The highest we got was... Uh, 51.47 and that was um, yeah basically that was the highest we got and uh, we got quite a bit of volatility we dropped to below $51 and then climbed all the way back up to where we are right now um, I was targeting 51.60 to buy my short today uh, following yesterday's short buy and as you can guess I never got the opportunity um, I suppose I could buy here um, at 51.40 ish um, it is technically, you know, following my rules, it is sufficient um, in terms of gap over my buy yesterday to, to, to play this. But I get the feeling from this activity today that we might stick around this level on Monday and I may get a better deal then. So it's a risk, but um, it's we're near the, the highs and, you know, here over, over $50 crude, <clears throat> excuse me. So I am going to be a little bit more cautious with my short buys. Um, I certainly do regret not getting in on a long position, but um, hey, them's the apples, as they say. There was some talk about uh, Trump's decertification of the Iranian nuclear deal, deal having some effect on crude's slip today. Um, you know, the fact that we are up on the day, nonetheless, I, I don't know. You know, take take whatever headlines you want and uh, interpret them and manipulate them however you wish uh, to to make whatever point you want to make. I suppose that's the rule in German journalism. Um, as you might have gathered from my tone and my comments, I'm a little bit frustrated today. Uh, you know, having missed the opportunity to get the short where I wanted to get the short after yesterday's missed opportunities, it's it's just frustrating. Um, but as I experienced in weeks past, sometimes when I'm feeling frustrated, the best thing to do is just be a little bit more patient rather than creating more regrets. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hang on, enjoy the weekend, and wait for Monday to tell me if I was right or wrong to wait. <laughs> How did you guys do today? Did you manage to uh, get any of these calls right? Let me know in the comments down below on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, performance, etc., etc. Uh, give us a thumbs up in the meantime, subscribe to stay tuned, and happy weekend. I'll check back with you guys over the weekend to do a week in review, as well as my thoughts on the week ahead. And uh, until then, good luck. Cheers.